Psalms 91 is, uh, is, a, is a very important prayer for Christians to know. And if you are, you're struggling, which all of us are struggling with something, including myself, uh, you could be struggling with alcohol, or it could be drugs, depression, um, could be unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is a big one. You got to be able to forgive. Um, pornography is huge. If you're struggling with that, you know, don't don't walk around feeling guilty about these things because uh, the way, the only way out is to be able to talk to the Lord about these things. And you just be straight up honest with him, because it's not like you can hide anything from him anyway. You know, if you're doing these things, you're, whatever it is you're struggling with, some people are sick, you know, or they need healing, you know. And, and there's, there's many, many other things. It's, all, it's a very individual, very, very personal relationship with God. Whatever you're struggling with, uh, Psalms 91 will cover it. If you're, if you're worried about the future, if you have losses in your life, like such as kids and parents, loved ones, you know, um, then this is a good, this is a good, uh, Psalms to know for, especially for the future. We got some times coming up that you're going to need to absolutely be able to count on, uh, the words of this Psalm or you might not make it through. Ready? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and underneath shall thou be, it shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt, shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the desolence that walketh in darkness, nor for the earth that in that wisteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Thou shalt bring thee up with their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, and that's why I write to him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now, you can pray this prayer, and these are this is the law of God. That means... Once, once a law is established by the creator of the universe, it stands uh, from the beginning to the very, very end. And, um, and you just start your prayers out like, like this. You just you repent every day, first of all, because you want to you want to ask for forgiveness, and He's going to forgive you anyway. But it's out of respect. You know, it's like Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for dying on the cross for me. I repent for the remission of all of my sins that I've ever committed in my entire life. <coughs> Lord, the secret place that you dwell in is inside of me. It's inside of everybody. It's amazing how you can be inside of me and every individual, 7 to 10 billion people on this planet, you can be inside of us all at the same time. It's incredible. How you are such an uh, individual, loving father that you are standing next to me at the same time all day long and leaning on every one of my thoughts and every one of my words because you love me so very, very much, just like I'm your only child. And you're the most high God. You are God. I mean, you're my best friend and you're my dad, too, but you, you're, you're God first. And... Um, and I abide under you, Lord Jesus Christ, under your shadow, Almighty God. 
I want to be under, need to be under your shadow. There's a lot of us out here that need deliverance from things. We, we're on, uh, people are on drugs and people are dr drinking and they don't want to do these things. People are doing pornography. They don't want to do those things. They're depressed. They don't want that. They're, they need healing in their bodies and their minds. Lord Jesus Christ. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you cast your shadow over the top of them right now in Jesus name. Deliver the people with peace the holy peace of God. Father, we say, Lord, we say that you are our, you are our refuge. We're under you. You're our house. You are our covering. You are our fortress, Lord Jesus Christ. You are our God, and we trust you, Lord Jesus. Some of us don't trust you as that much because we don't know you that well. But we're going to talk to you and we're going to press into you every day. We're going to get up and talk to you. We're going to go to sleep talking to you. We're going to talk to you all day long. No matter what we're doing, we're doing things that we don't want to do. But we know that you can see what everything that we do anyway. We can't hide it from you. We're embarrassed, but we're going to still talk to you about these things until you help us to overcome these things and deliver us from these things because you will eventually Lord Jesus if we just keep talking to you about it and we will be delivered you say surely here he shall deliver me thee from the snare of the bird catcher and from the from the noise the loud noisy pests Lord Jesus Christ that are inside of our heads inside of our mind our thinking the way that we all of our thoughts, Lord, our memories, Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you deliver us right now in Jesus' name from all those things. Clear, cleanse our minds and purify our minds in Jesus' name. Father, cover us with, our, with your feathers freshly every day, every moment. Like a, like, like a, like a little bird, and you're, you're, you're the big bird. And you're covering us and protecting us and keeping us from the, the enemy. Under, our, under your wings is where we want to be, Lord. We want to trust you and believe in you 100% all of the time. That is all of our goals, Lord Jesus Christ. We want to trust your truth, which we are reading and praying right now for our individual selves, for our families, Lord Jesus for our churches, for our countries, for our cities, Lord Jesus. You are our shield, a very big shield, that, a shield that covers us. It covers me, surrounds me, it's over top of me, it's underneath me, it's, it's on my left side, my right side, it's on my front, my back, the ultimate shield, and you are our weapon. Also, against the enemy, Lord Jesus Christ, the ones that are inside of our minds. Slay those giants in Jesus' name. We pray right now with, the, with your weapons. Mighty angels, mighty warrior angels, we pray that you go to work for us right now. We bind them. We bind the enemy. Whatever enemy it is, every unclean spirit, we bind you in Jesus' name. Whatsoever shall be bound in heaven shall be bound on earth. Which shall ever shall be loosed in heaven shall be loosed on earth. Father, we don't want to be afraid anymore. We bind fear in Jesus' name. We don't want to be afraid for the terror by night. For the bad dreams, we, we rebuke those in Jesus' name. We don't want to be afraid in the daytime for the arrow that flies by day, for the, the, the things that come up from sun up to sundown. Lord Jesus, we rebuke and bind those things. We understand. Lord Jesus Christ, that you are going to try us. You're going to, that's the reason why we're here. Is we're going to, that's part of our course, that we're going to be tried. And we're going to have tests. And the way that you do those things, it's totally up to you. We understand. All you're looking for is our final reaction. We fail and fail and fail and fail again. And you keep trying us and trying us and trying us until we have the right reaction and then we pass father 
we don't want to be afraid for the uh, for, of darkness, the pet the, it's getting dark on this earth, the pest that walks in darkness. Nor we don't want we don't need, we don't want to be afraid anymore of anything, for the for the destruction, the destru destroyer, that waste, the waster spirit. At noonday, we rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. And we bind every principality, power, spiritual wickedness in high places. In Jesus' name, we pray and we thank you that a thousand devils, a thousand unclean spirits will fall at our side. And 10,000 unclean spirits will fall at our right hand in Jesus' name. And we, that's what we want right now. And we pray for that right now. And we ask that there will be no retaliation from these enemies that have been coming against us because we're praying against them. We ask their, that they will not come near us. And we thank you for writing this in your commandments and writing this in your law. And we stand upon your your your, uh, your word of truth, Lord Jesus Christ, because you are truth. And we, we want to see the enemy fall. And we thank you that the enemy will fall. We want to see it, Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll wait. We'll wait to see that. We will go through our tests and we will go through our trials, but we expect to win every single time because you are the most high God and we are your sons and daughters, Lord Jesus Christ. And you, We have made you our refuge. Most high God, you are our habit or you are becoming our habit as we talk to you daily, as we talk to you many times during the day about everything. Not just the things, the good things, but the bad habits that we have. Because we don't want them. They're bad. We realize what they are. They make us feel guilty. And uh, they're shameful to us. We don't want to have any more parts of them. And we're going to talk to you about them until you just finally, we wake up one day and they're not there anymore, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you that no evil will come on us, Lord, because you say so. And because you love us so much. And that no sickness, no plagues will come even near close to us. Because we know that there's a bunch of them coming in the future. They're going to do some sorts of things to make everyone sick. And we are not going to have any parts of that because you said that we won't. They won't come near us. My dwelling you, and the people's dwellings. Everyone who's listening to this and everyone who's praying this, Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that everyone be healed, stand up and walk. And be healthy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for touching everyone that is afflicted with any kind of plague right now. In Jesus' name. And Lord, you have many angels. I have two. And everyone else has a couple with them also, too, that have been with them from birth. And we thank you for giving them charge over us. And giving them assignments to keep us safe. And keeping us on the right track. And they're keeping us. They're keeping us. They're keeping me in, in all my ways. And I thank you for that. Now we ask warrior, warrior angels, special angels, special assignment angels to come into our lives and, and destroy every unclean spirit, every stronghold, Father. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, are, are, are not carnal but, the, but you are mighty to the pulling down. Of every stronghold we want to we want every stronghold broken right now in Jesus name we command it as sons and daughters of God and by the blood with the authority of the blood of Jesus Christ and we thank you for that our aid that our angels and the and all angels will bear us up with it in their hands even if we trip dashing our foot against the stone they're there to catch us with their hands Lord we thank you that we do, and we, we forget this, that we do tread upon the, the, the enemies, all of the enemies, in whatever form, shape that they are, that we, we trample them under feet. We actually are the sons and daughters of God, and we are above them. And uh, they try to trick us and make it seem like they're, they're above us, but they're not. They're liars, and we know it. Remind us of this every day so that we remember. We're going to go through tests and trials. We know that. And that's because you're molding us and shaping us to be, you know, exactly who you want us to be. You know, we agreed to this before we you put us here. So we understand that. But, uh, 
the time. We want to, we don't want any unnecessary warfare from the enemy, Lord Jesus Christ. Anything that anything that's not necessary, we just don't want it. We don't want to have it. Thank you, Father, for doing that. And thank you for, you know, putting your love all over us, inside of us, that love is inside of us. Show us how to use it. Show show it show us how show us what it is. Help us to find this love that is on us and that is in us so that it radiates from us. And therefore, you know, thanks for delivering us and me from everything that's unlike you because we want to be just like you. And thank you for setting us on high as your sons and daughters. We appreciate that so much. We appreciate your love. Just because we know you, your name, the name of Jesus Christ, Most High God, Holy Spirit, Emmanuel. Just because we know you, you you put us up on a pedestal. How honorable that it, that is! So wonderful, Lord Jesus. And we, it's wonderful that we can call upon you anytime, day or night, twenty four hours a day. Call on your name, and you're there. You just pop up there. We can't see you, but we know that you're there all the time. We can call on your name, and you'll answer us if we wait long enough. Sometimes you answer us right away. Sometimes we got to wait for months or even years. But uh, we expect answers. Um, make it obvious to us when you do give us an answer that, uh, that you did it uh, so we can thank you and glorify you for it. And thanks for being with us in all the troublesome situations. I know myself, I, I should have been dead, you know, at least 13 times that I can count. And I'm sure it's been more than that, that I'm, that I'm not aware of, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being with us in all our trouble. And deliver us from all of our trouble. We don't want any troubles that, that, you, that you don't ordain, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes you ordain things to happen in our lives. So like I said, so you can get, so you can get the proper reaction and we can just be molded and shaped by you to be better and better and better every day that's what life is all about it's short life but it seems like it lasts forever at times and thanks for delivering delivering us lord we do honor you lord we honor you praise you and worship you forever and all of our lives from now on lord jesus christ and thank you for satisfying us with food and shelter and you know, and dry land, and no floods, and no tornadoes, and no hurricanes, and and no fires, and and um, you know, all of our for the rest of our lives, we just pray that you just bless us and our our family, our city, our country, and bless the world, Lord Jesus Christ. And thanks for you know, having allowing us to have jobs and and cars and food and stuff like that and shelter. It's wonderful. And people across the world that don't have these things, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that you would bless them again with these things if they've had them before. And some people have never had these things. We pray that you would just bless everybody with a full stomach, fresh water to drink, clothes, fresh, clean clothing, socks, underwear, you know, just um, everything that they need lord and let and you get all the glory for it let them know that you gave it to them and you blessed it with them just like you're doing with us lord jesus christ and we thank you very much for saving us from where we were going where i was going was hell and you rescued me and you've given me salvation instead and i appreciate that because you didn't have to do it but you did it anyway appreciate you so much lord in jesus christ's name we pray Thank you for saving every one of our family members. Even though we can't see what you're doing in their lives, we know you're working on them. You got, this, you got about a gazillion angels. That are, we ask that you just send an angel to, angels to every last one of them. And to, uh, so that they know who you are. Or you can just show up yourself personally. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.